Grunfeld Defense, Exchange, Spassky, Mainline, 11.CXD4BG412.F3NA513.BD3B6. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. Black got the better of white in that game. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. And c3 prepares the e2 e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The Grunfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. Cx d5 opens up the center, after black recaptures with nx d5, white is prepared to answer with e2 e4. Nx d5 recaptures the d5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. E4 takes full control of the center and attacks the knight on d5. Nx c3 trades the attack knight, and gives white a large center that black will attempt to attack. Bx c3 recaptures the knight and supports the d4 pawn. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Bc4 develops the bishop to an aggressive diagonal where it helps control the d5 square and attacks the f7 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Ne2 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d4 pawn and prepares castling. C5 takes space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. And C6 develops the knight toward the center and increases the pressure on the d4 pawn. B3 develops the bishop and defends the pawn on d4. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This kicks an opposing bishop. When a bishop moves away from being attacked, this gains a tempo. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Backs off. The bishop is now in a secure position. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. This threatens to kick a bishop. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing bishop. This is the only move that works. It is the last book move. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is good. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. It is ideal. This overlooks a better way to move a bishop to safety. It is incorrect. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This can indicate that a queen was attacked. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Although the score was nearly equal, black now holds the upper hand. It is incorrect. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. Black got the better of white in that game. 
Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.